Hi, Madeline here from Sonic Bloom. This time we're going to look at the upgrades that Autofilter got in Live 12.2. But instead of just going through all the new features and changes in the video, I've actually created five presets, one for each of the new filter types included. And you can also download those presets for free, link in the description. And so we're just going to do a quick run through of what's new and then actually look at the presets sets and what I've done and why. And so we've got, as I said, five new filters here. Those five very nice ones. We also got new waveforms. Those are ramp up, ramp down and wonder. Then we've got a morphing feature for the LFO waveform, which is new and nice. And another thing we can do is we have LFO quantization. So the modulation, if that is set either to steps or to sample and hold, will be updated at a specified interval. So here either after, in this case, eight steps or at 16th notes, which is really cool. Then we've got uh, a new attack hold, which means that the envelope for the attack phase will be completed if this is turned on. So even if we have like short transients, say with drums, then this would still be completed and that might change the sound quite a bit as well. And uh, we also have a sample and hold here for the envelope follower that can be set in beat divisions. We also got a new drive setting, so we can add distortion. There also changes in the filter circuits. We only have four, we used to have five. Clean is now basically the SVF, the MS2 and PRD are the same. And then we've got DFM, which is nice for kind of like distorted effects. We have soft clip that's new. We can set the output of the wet signal of the device individually now. And we have a dry wet. And also very cool, in my opinion, is the new sidechain filter that cannot just use with external sources, but also internally. So we've got like the typical filter types, frequency setting and resonance. Now let's dive in. Okay, so let's have a look at the first new filter type that was included in auto filter, and that is the DJ. Uh, and you can set this here. I've set it to a relatively high resonance. And what it does is you can basically sweep from a low pass filter to a high pass filter, which is something that is very common in DJ setups. And so most likely you would use this on a main channel on the whole mix, but of course you can also use it on individual tracks. And so let's have a quick listen to the uh, drums without. So that creates a lot more movement automatically. So we have a lot of modulation happening without needing to do anything else. And so the rate is set to a quarter note for the LFO. The waveform is simply a sine wave with triplets. The morph actually is set to zero. That is also a new feature. And what I've done is I've actually used the LFO quantization in step mode. And I've set it to eight steps. That means that after eight steps, the modulation is only updated. And so let's just listen with this and then without. I've also added a little bit of drive, so a slight amount of distortion and I've selected the DFM filter circuit because it actually internally feeds back and creates more distortion and I've turned on clip. So there's soft clipping and nothing goes over zero dB. And the dry wet is only at 50% because I don't want to include it everywhere. That would be 100%. So this way you could easily build risers 
or create a breakdown, something like this. And um, let's set this back to 50%. And then something else I've done is, uh, first of all, I've used the new a tech hole for the envelope follower to make sure that the envelope for the attack completes its phase fully. Even with uh, short transients and with drums, we have a lot of short transients as well. And then I've used the sample and hold here for the envelope follower set to 16th notes. So I could just turn this off. And you can hear that it creates more movement there as well. So for the second filter type, that's new in auto filter, the comb filter I actually set up meld with the new chord oscillator type. And let's listen to that. Basically there's no, now no sound design done at all in melt. It's just a chord oscillator type set up with otherwise the uh, basic settings. So this is really boring sounding on its own. Let's make this small and just use this with the auto filter. So you can hear how much movement and interest you can create with the new auto filter settings. So let's have a look at what I've done. So I've used a comb filter in this case with a fairly low frequency. So this is something that you could modulate as well. And then the resonance is set to 67%. Like if we morphed the comb filter, you could change the sound as well. Uh, the LFO rate is set just to four bars. And I've used a new ramp up waveform for the LFO with a morph set to minus 100 and a mode set to triplets. And then I've also used the second LFO quantization option that we got, which is the sample and hold at 16th notes. So that's when the modulation will only be set up. So that's with, and if we turn it off, we could also try different settings. And uh, for the envelope, I've used the same settings as with the previous preset and I've added a little drive, but this time I used the SVF filter, which if drive is set to 0% is clean. Of course, if we turn up drive, we always add a little bit of distortion. And then I've turned soft clipping on as well and the output adds, I've set to zero dB. And something else that is new and that I've used in this preset is the uh, sidechain filter. So you can use this with an external source, but you can also use it on its own for sidechaining. So this is with, and this is without. Okay, so the third new filter type is resampling, and I've selected that for this one. This is a fairly ambient sound of an Ebo, and let's play this without the auto filter. And what I wanted to show you with this one is that you can actually use this as a way to build risers. And the way I've done that is I've First of all, use the shaper effect mapped to, to the frequency here in modulation. So it's still free to be changed. And I've set the rate here to eight bars and I've done the same thing for the LFO rate. I've used the new wonder waveform for the LFO. So it's creating some interesting changes there as well. I've actually used none of the LFO quantization and also not sample and hold for the envelope follower. So that's all really clean. No drive, the already existing PRD circuit type left clip off.
but I've selected to have LFO set to spin because I thought it sounded nicer. And I've also used the uh, sidechain filter again, but with a uh, high pass filter this time and a very high resonance and frequency. So we could try this without as well. So as you can hear, it makes a huge difference in this case, how it sounds. So filter type number four is notch and low pass filter combined. And I've used this on a bass preset, which is a wavetable one. And so let's listen quickly without. And with. It creates a lot more movement and interest, and it also is helpful for basically changing the sound of the preset on its own. And so filter and notch, I actually used it in with a 24 dB filter slope per octave, fairly high resonance and the morphing set to 41%. LFO set to 16th, fairly low LFO amount in this case, and I've used the new Wonder waveform again in sync mode, and I've used the LFO with the step quantization set to 4. So let's try this without. And with. So you can hear the difference. Use the DFM filter circuit again because you know it's a more distortion and a little bit of drive here as well, so that it sounds even grittier than the original preset. Turn soft clip on, turn the volume down a little bit because it's quite a bit already. And then for the envelope follower, I've turned on sample and hold hold for with a half note. So and last but not least, we've got the new vowel filter type here. And I've used it on a bell sound. Let's have a listen to the sound without the auto filter on. And with. Again, a lot more movement and modulation, but also shaping of the whole sound itself. So with the vowel filter type, you have pitch in semitones that you can set. So let's try this with different ones. You can see how it moves to the frequency spectrum, but just in semitones in this case. And what I've also done is I've used the LFO set to remote and mapped to the formants here so that it moves the formants, but I've set it to a rate of eight bars. So it's relatively slow how it's moving through the formants. So the different types of vowels like A, O and so on. Morph set to 60%. So you can hear the difference here. And yeah, LFO rate set to half, LFO amount 100%. This time I used the saw waveform that we already had and more to sync, more completely off. But I've used the steps LFO quantization again set to 8 and LFO set to spin at 50%. This could also be nice, actually. Mm -hmm. 
and have a set drive to 20%, so it gets a tiny bit of distortion as well with the PRD circuit that we already had and turned on soft clipping. So again, if you're interested in the presets that I've showed you here, you can download them for free if you click in the description below. That's it. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Until then, 